so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. This place looks like so much fun! Whoa, check out this tower behind me. Do you know what color this is? It's blue! Wait a second. Hello? <gasps> There's a slide in there! <gasps> I have to go down. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> that was so much fun! I wanna do it again. See you there. Hey! Do you see the clock up here? Yeah, there's the numbers one through 12, and the numbers make a circle. So cool. And I see a red bird at the very top. Hi, bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> it looks like the time is time to go down the slide again. See you at the bottom. Whoa. That was so much fun. Hey. I wonder if we could find more colors and shapes and things to count here. Will you help me? Oh, amazing. One, two, three, four. I'm ready to explore. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. This looks like a really old Western town. Oh, I know. I can pretend to be cowgirl Mika. Wait a second. Come here. There's another slide. That means there's one, two slides here. That's so fun. Well, since this is my town, I better make sure that the slide is working great. <laughs> Let's go up there. This is the perfect spot to check out my town. Yeah, everything looks really good. Oh. <laughs> There's the bank. Hey, Barb, keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, and there's a little school over there. Hey, kids, cowgirl Mika. Yeah, you're learning a lot. Well, good for you. <laughs> I better check out that slide. <clears throat> oh yeah, <laughs> three, two, one. It's time to have some fun. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe I got to go down two slides today. <laughs> hey, there's a dragon over there. You know, some dragons fly and some dragons breathe fire. <sighs> Will you pretend to be a dragon with me? Okay, I think I'm gonna do both, fly and breathe fire. <gasps> oh, careful, it's hot, that's fire. <sighs> Fire breathing dragon, see? <laughs> Look at this really cool dragon. This is the happy dragon. See its big smile? And whoa! Look at its eyes! They're moving like. <laughs> wow! It has a really long tongue. What a cool looking dragon! Whoa! Look over here! It has a big foot! Whoa, it's bright orange. <laughs> and look at its body. Do you know what color it is? Yep, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. Oh, I see one, two legs. There's two more down here. Three, four, and two more way in the back. Five, six. Oh, six legs? <laughs> look at these spikes. Will you count the spikes with me? Okay, let's start at the one way up top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, whoa, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty
Good job! I think that calls for a 10 second dance party! Dance it out! <sighs> hey! This is kind of like a chair. <laughs> this is cool. It reminds me of musical chairs. Have you ever played that game before? When the music plays, you dance around, and then when it stops, you have to find a chair really, really fast. And if you can't find a chair, you're out. <laughs> Should we play? All right, let's do it. Oh, I hear that music. <gasps> the music stopped. <gasps> that was a close one. <laughs> wow, there's so many chairs on this dragon. I think next time we play, we're gonna have to invite a lot of friends. <laughs> let's keep exploring. Whoa, this is the wonder go round. It's a ride. Should I get on it? Okay, come with me. We can pick out a character and I can go for a ride. I do like this walrus, what do you think? All right, I'm doing it. Let's go! Woohoo! Whoa! This looks like so much fun! This is the Jolly Trolley Ride! Yeah, it looks like a cool long train! <gasps> hey, look at this one! It's green! Green like a frog! Ribbit! Ribbit! And this one is the color yellow! That's right! Oh, I actually see a bumblebee up there! Bees are yellow too! Bzzz. Oh, and look at these cool windows. Will you count them with me? One, two, three. Oh, this one's two colors. Blue, like the sky, and purple, <laughs> like my shirt. <laughs> it's blue. It's two kinds of blues, a light blue and a dark blue. Kind of like the sky and water. Oh, I think I want to go on this one. Oh. And I have a good idea. I have binoculars in my jam pack so I can see really well. Hello, <laughs> let's go for a ride. <gasps> Here we go. We're in a tunnel. Awesome. <laughs> I saw a lot of really cool things. Actually, I think I saw some little tiny houses over there. Do you wanna race me? All right, on your mark. Get set, go! Wow, you're so fast. I know this story. This is the story of the three little pigs. Do you know that story? Yeah, there's three different houses in that story. This house is made out of sticks. Hello, I made this house all by myself out of sticks. <laughs> Here's the second house. This house is made out of straw. Yes, hello, do you like my straw house that I made? <laughs> Wait, there's three pigs and three houses, but we only saw two. I wonder where the other one is. Let's go look for it. Here it is, the third house, and it's made out of bricks, which means this house is really strong. Do you know what the softest house is? The one made out of straw for sure. <laughs> and I see some cool looking shapes on this house. I see a yellow rectangle. Oh, I see a triangle right there. One, two, three. And look at all of the bricks. They're all little rectangles. What a very nice looking home. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. In my jam pack, I have a nice healthy snack and I bet the pigs would really like these cucumbers. Hey, did you know that cucumbers are actually fruit? They're seeds inside, which makes them a fruit. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, there's one of the pigs over there. Hello, here's some nice healthy cucumbers for you. 
<laughs> hey, it's Oswald the Bubble Elf. Hi, Oswald. It's me, Mika. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Oswald loves making bubbles for us. And check it out. He's sitting on top of a giant mushroom. That must be so fun. Do you know what color this is? It's the color red. Let's go look at the stem. Whoa! It's a bright yellow. One of my favorite colors. What a cool mushroom. <laughs> Oswald, can we have some more bubbles, please? <laughs> Do you know what shape a bubble is? It's a sphere. So it's sort of like a circle, but it goes all the way around like a ball. See? Whoa. <laughs> and you know bubbles are just soap and water. <laughs> and they're really fun. Hey, maybe we can try and count some bubbles, but they're moving really fast. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> or we could pretend to take a bubble bath. <laughs> wow, whoa. <laughs> I could play with bubbles all day. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today, finding different shapes and colors. And we counted a lot too, remember? We counted the spikes on the dragon and counted the two slides. Woo! And oh, the piggy houses. Yeah. And remember, we left them a cucumber snack because they really like cucumbers. I really like cucumbers too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Wait a second. I think I have bubbles in my jam pack. I do. I can blow some more bubbles. <laughs> All right. Thanks for learning and playing with me. See you soon. Wow. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. I'm so excited to be here because I love science and I get to do a science experiment right here. Will you do one with me? Awesome. Let's see how we can get started. <gasps> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy and welcome to ODBK's new learning playground. Hi, Trudy. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. So I heard that I could do a science experiment here and make elephant toothpaste. We love elephant toothpaste, and we've actually put together a scavenger hunt for you. What? That sounds so fun. Will you go on a scavenger hunt with me? <laughs> cool. So how do I start? You're all checked in and ready to go. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Check it out. We're at the science lab. For this science experiment, we need to find six items in our scavenger hunt. We need to find hydrogen peroxide, safety goggles, dish soap, food coloring, measuring cups, and yeast. <laughs> okay, can you help me look for these items? Great, let's go. Whoa. Mind gym. Whoa, this must be a room for your mind. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. I recognize some numbers here. Will you count with me? <laughs> okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, okay, I don't see any items yet for our science experiment. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> see all these different colors? Oh, look, there's little items in here that you can find. Oh, looks like a balloon. And a little fuzzy ball. Ooh, this is fun. Cool. <gasps> Hydrogen peroxide. 
We found our first item for our science experiment. Hydrogen peroxide can help heal a cut, but you do not want to get this in your eyes. So we need to find safety goggles. Okay, good job. We have our first item. Check it out. A word find. So this big puzzle has a bunch of words in it, but they throw other letters in it to mix it all up so it's kind of hard to see the words. See if you can find any words in here. You have to look really close. Oh, I found one. <laughs> look, P-E-A-R, pear. Ooh, that's a really yummy fruit. Any other words that can maybe give us a clue to the things that we're looking for? Oh, what about this word? Safe. Safety, safety, like safety goggles? Maybe there are safety goggles around here. Oh, look, there's some letters down here. Oh, do you know what letter this is? <laughs> it's the letter M for Mika. And it's one of my favorite colors, the color yellow. <laughs> Safety goggles. Safety goggles are really important when you do experiments because they protect your eyeballs. <laughs> All right, two items down, four to go. Safety goggles and hydrogen peroxide. All right, let's keep looking. <gasps> oh, whoa, it's like a grocery store or a market in here. <gasps> Look at all of this play food. Oh, cool. It looks like it's organized by color. I see green and orange and yellow. Ooh, what is in here? A cucumber slice. I love cucumbers. Oh, and a green apple. That's a nice healthy fruit. And one of my favorite vegetables, broccoli. <laughs> Ooh, and a tomato slice. These are all really healthy foods. Yeah, fruit and vegetables, they have nutrients and vitamins in there. So they're what I like to call an all the time food. They help you grow. Ooh, what's this? Some pizza. Mmm. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can find anything that we need for our science experiment. Whoa. This is like a little restaurant or a diner. Oh, don't mind if I do. Put a little ketchup on here. Mmm, <laughs> pretty tasty. See if there's anything in here. <gasps> I found yeast. We need yeast in our science experiment. If you add warm water to yeast, it helps things rise. In fact, you need yeast to make bread. That's right. Hey, we are doing a great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's put this with our other things and then we can keep looking for more items for our experiment. <laughs> Good job. Let's keep looking. <sighs> okay, let's keep looking for more items for our science experiment. Whoa, there's a lot of fun things in here. Come over here. Oh, look at these big blocks. Huh. Let's see. What can I make here? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Ah, feels pretty sturdy. It could be a new chair. <laughs> And put this on it, and this. Or it could be a throne. Queen Mika. <laughs> oh, I still don't see anything for our science experiment. Hmm, maybe there's something over here. Hey, a hula hoop. Check it out. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a circle. And it's the color 
green. Let's see if I can hula hoop. Cool. <laughs> Let me try again. Ready, set, hula hoop, hula hoop. Oh, that's a little better. Look, you can also put it on your arm like a giant bracelet and swing, 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 swing. <laughs> but you know what? This is not something that we need for our science experiment. Fun though. Hmm. Oh, this is a really cool game. Look, you have a spinner and it tells you where to put your body on the dots. Left foot yellow, see? Left foot yellow. Hmm. Left foot yellow. Let's see if I can do one more turn on here. Whoop. This is left hand green. <laughs> Whoa, you have to try not to fall down. <gasps> I might fall down soon. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Hmm. Come over here. <gasps> Whoa, do you know what this is? It's a bottom of a slide. Should I go down the slide? Okay. Oh, wow, it looks like it's really high up. I wonder if there's anything at the top that we can use for our science experiment. I can't wait to make elephant toothpaste. <laughs> it says socks only. That means I need to take my shoes off. All right, let's, oh, they go in these cubbies over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the top and see if I can find something for our experiment. See you at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <gasps> I think I see something for our experiment. I'll see you soon. We definitely need this for our experiment. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks for your help. All right, I'm gonna grab my shoes and our other items for our experiment, and we can keep looking. We have two more to find. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <gasps> cool clock. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. It says A R T. Art! <laughs> this is an art space. <gasps> cool. Look at this big piece of paper. Oh, I could color something on here. Ooh, look at all of these markers. I'm going to choose purple because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> all right, let's see. What should I draw? Ooh, I know. See if you can guess. It's a science flask. You can use this in a science experiment, <laughs> but it kind of looks like something else. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Do you know now? <laughs> it's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> what else does it need? Oh, right, a mouth. Give it a big mouth, a big smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's crayons too. Maybe I could put something else on here and choose a different color. Let's see. Um, oh, I found the food coloring. Look. <laughs> oh, and it's my two favorite colors. Purple and yellow. We're getting closer and closer to finding everything we need for our science experiment. One more item to find. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> cool bee. Wow, it looks like this bee's measuring something. <laughs> Hey, Mr. B, I like your style, purple and yellow. 
two of my favorite colors. <laughs> hey, it looks like we even have the same kind of shoes. <laughs> <gasps> Measuring cups. That's the last thing we need for our science experiment. We found everything. Let's head into the science lab. Come on. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Mika, welcome back. Thank you. I think that I found all of the items I need for the science experiment. Yay, may I see them? Oh, yeah. I have safety goggles, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring, <laughs> yeast, and measuring cups. Congratulations, Mika, you are ready for the experiment. <gasps> wow, really? Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. An official lab coat, awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. <gasps> I'm so excited to do this experiment. Okay, everyone, safety first. <laughs> if you're doing this experiment at home, please make sure to do it with a grown-up. We are going to make elephant toothpaste. But remember, it's not really toothpaste, so please don't use it on your elephants. <laughs> the first step is we need to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into this glass. Okay, and be nice and careful and pour it to the top. Okay. Step one, complete. Second, we need our dish soap. Okay. Squirt of dish soap in there. And you swirl it around, make sure it mixes a little bit together. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, I'm going to add two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Okay. Get a little goop there. It looks black, but once it all mixes together, it's going to look purple. And yellow. And look, the yellow looks orange. But once it comes out of the cup, it's going to look yellow. Okay. All right. Next, we are going to add our yeast to some warm water. And I already have some warm water right here. And you only need one teaspoon. So let me open this up can get one teaspoon of yeast. Okay. Ooh. There we go, one teaspoon. Add it to the water and stir it around. See, it's all mixing together. Okay. And then we're gonna add it to the glass and hopefully we will see our toothpaste in action. Going to the top. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa, did you see some of the colors? Wow, <laughs> it really looks like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, science is so much fun. Isn't that cool? Whoa, it's still going. Whoa, <laughs> there are the colors right there. Oh, that was so fun. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those items for our science experiment. You were very helpful. <laughs> science is so fun. And we had a lot of fun today, right? We went on a scavenger hunt. We did a word puzzle. Oh, I went down a really cool green slide and there was a pretend grocery store and art. <laughs> we did a lot today, all for the love of science. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Should we spell it on the planet? Science style? <laughs> Let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> thanks for learning with me. See you soon. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. Today, I'm at a very cool place called Lost World's Myth and Magic in Las Vegas, Nevada. <gasps> Whoa, that was
was a magical moment. Hmm. Do you see those statues? Let's go check them out. Wait, you're not a statue. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I am Sir Adam of the Kingdom of Lost Worlds. Hello, Sir Adam. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And Mika, I have a mystical quest. Can you please help me with it? Oh, yeah. The baby dragons of the kingdom have escaped. Can you please help us find them? Of course. Here is a scroll with your instructions. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> okay, we have to find these baby dragons. There's a blue one, a green one, a purple and a red dragon. Will you help me find them? Great. <laughs> Do I have everything I need for my mythical quest? All you need is your Lost World safety socks. Oh. And remember to follow the dragon footprints to help you find the babies. Great. Follow the dragon footprints. Okay, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Whoa. Check out this castle. <laughs> there are lots of places for a baby dragon to hide here. Oh, we're going to find you, baby dragon. Oh, look at these trees. Whoa, they're so tall. Let's count how many trees there are. One. <laughs> two. Oh, and look, I see another forest. Check it out. This is a cylinder. Oh, hey, you know what else is shaped like a cylinder? <laughs> yeah, tree trunks. <laughs> wow, this is a very enchanted forest. <laughs> and look, a bridge. Whoa. Okay, let's go over the bridge like a knight on a horse. Ready? Whoa. Do you see that hot scotch? <laughs> yeah. I have an idea. Let's hop on the orange numbers. Do you know which ones are the orange numbers? <laughs> yeah, two and six. Okay, let's hop away. Yeah! Whoa, a boat. Let's get inside. I like sailing with my best friends, being brave and flying dragons. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's keep going. Look! A whole herd of horses! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna press the red button, see what happens next. Whoa! Here we go! <laughs> and check it out! Do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah! Dragon footprints! Wow! Let's count how many there are. One, two, three. Three footprints. Hmm, let's look at our scroll. What does it say? <gasps> Follow the footprints to find where the baby dragon's lair is. Oh, <laughs> it must be that way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there are more footprints. We must be getting closer. Whoa! I bet the baby dragon is in there. Let's go for a swim and find our first baby dragon. Okay, ready? Splash! <laughs> okay, let's swim. <laughs> oh! Check it out! We found a baby dragon. <laughs> And it's blue, just like this ball pit. Awesome! We did it! Great job! Okay, baby dragon, let's go find your other friends. <laughs> oh, this quest is getting so exciting! Let's keep finding baby dragons. Oh, hey, there's a dragon right there! No, but not the baby dragons we're looking for. But look at this, more cylinders. Ooh, this looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> Whoa. Peekaboo, I see you. 
Whoa, check this out over here. Blinds. Oh, and inner tubes too. Let's count the inner tubes. One, two, three. And they're so colorful. Do you know what these colors are? Yes, yellow and blue. <laughs> Whoa, and look, more dragon footprints. I wonder where they lead. I know, I'll get a tube and slide down. This is gonna be so fun. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> hey, what's that? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I think we just found our next dragon. Hi, baby dragon. Look, we found the red dragon. Awesome job. Okay, let's go look for more of its friends. <gasps> Whoa, this room is so cool. And look, more dragon footprints. Yep, we must be headed in the right direction. Wow, check it out, boxes. Hmm, I wonder if there are any dragons inside. <laughs> let's count the boxes. One, two, three. Three boxes. <gasps> I know. Let's make a beat. Dragons, come out and play. We've been looking all day. Dragons, come out and play. Don't be afraid, it'll be okay. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> let's head up this ramp. <laughs> wow, this whole room is purple. One of my favorite colors. <gasps> let's ask this dragon for help. Excuse me, have you seen any baby dragons? No, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. Let's search far and wide. Hmm, dragons? Nope. Let's keep exploring. Ooh, maybe over here. Hello, baby dragons, where are you? <laughs> Check it out, more footprints. Let's see where they lead. <gasps> hey, we found the purple dragon. <laughs> Three dragons found, one more to go. <gasps> Whoa, an obstacle course. And it's in a forest. <gasps> Let's pretend to be in a forest looking for our last dragon. <gasps> Look, this is our first obstacle. Have to make it across the river. Okay, let's get in our boat. Whoa, we made it to land. And look, there's a big forest wall to get over. Whoa, hmm, how do I get on top? Oh, here we go. Yeah. We made it. Oh, there's some more water waves though. <laughs> Let's fly down. <laughs> Check it out, some vines. Let's take a swing on these vines. Oh, let's keep going. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check out these logs. Hmm, I wonder how we'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'll go under. I got it. Let's pretend to be squirrels in a forest. Oh. <laughs> 
whoa, check out these rings. Ooh. <laughs> whoa, this is a great forest adventure, friend. And look, I think I see dragon footprints ahead. Yeah, we found some more footprints. Okay, let's see if there's a dragon on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, another mountain. Let's give it a climb. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> hey. Check <gasps> it out. We found our last dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check our scroll to make sure we have all four dragons. Let's see. Mm-hmm, we have blue and purple and red and green. Great job, friends. We did it, we did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. Great job. Sir Adam, we did it. We found all the baby dragons. Oh, wonderful. You have finally returned them and completed your magical quest, which has earned you the right to become a knight. Oh, whoa, did you hear that? We're knights now. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to celebrate. Woohoo! we did it. <laughs> Bye, Sir Adam. Bye, Knight Mika. Bye, baby dragon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was such a magical adventure. I had so much fun looking at those dragon footprints and finding all the colorful baby dragons. We played in a ball pit, went down a slide, and threw a night's nice obstacle course. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, Knights, see you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa. This half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> And it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crayons, green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. It reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 I'm 
Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach? That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, <laughs> all right. We're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah! Hurrah! Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! Thank you! All right, we're gonna jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo! Whoa, this is fun! Nice, okay, can you guess what I am? Rawr! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear! Oh, cool! <laughs> okay, let's see. Rawr! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa! Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a rail gymnast. I have been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go well, one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Nice. Oh, it feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Ooh, a blast, okay. One, two, three, blast. Blast! There's our pie. Nice! All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh, yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello! Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Boy, it tastes so hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our learn. lesson yeah. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on, and let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! Oh, that was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! I, know, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta da! Oh, ta da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's it that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up high. Whoa, that looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? 
Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> so cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot, because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. Nice cartwheel. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you did some stuff on the floor mm -hmm. in gymnastics. We also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. So I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I think now. You're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoa. You're doing good. <laughs> okay. Now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hands okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa. <laughs> nice. You went up. I did the flip around the bar too. <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. Oh. And orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. <gasps> Ooh. Yum. <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop. Okay. And come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp. Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump! 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 So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Ooh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right, first things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. Woo! <laughs> Back at the half circle. Climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do a kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and cast. 
casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balancing. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out, we're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go, you can get it after. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna, oh yeah. Of course, yes. Oh, can you just, mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika. I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. Can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? It got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika. And we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now. There's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa. All these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster! Woo-hoo! 
here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah, I'm going to flip it. it up. 
Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. going to use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And yeah. then I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this thing. Yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. Well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa, can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, a H Mika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. 
do not land. <laughs> or this one that means too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M E E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Whoa, <laughs> I'm up so high. Hello. I'm over Hello. here. Hello. Oh, there's a slide. I'll meet you at the bottom. Hi. Three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at Twinkle Play Space in Brooklyn, New York. I'm so excited because there's lots of fun things to do here. Oh, look down here. This looks like something a doctor would use. Maybe to check your reflexes? Whoa! <laughs> I'll just put this in my jam pack. And a thermometer. Something else a doctor might use. Interesting. Hmm, a clipboard? Maybe a doctor clipboard? And a stethoscope. Yeah, this is something a doctor uses to check your heartbeat. <laughs> There's a note. Dear Mika, Pettenville needs someone to take care of its animal friends. Here is your veterinarian kit. I know you'll do a great job. Signed, Mayor Rooster. Oh, that's so cool. I get to take care of animals. That's what a veterinarian or a vet does. They're so important because they're animal doctors who take care of animals. Oh, look over here. A doctor's coat. Let's try it on. Wow, I look like a real animal doctor, huh? <laughs> oh, first on the list is a dragon. We better go find it, come on. Whoa, check it out. A really big, cool looking dragon. <gasps> Hi, dragon. Oh, it's a mama dragon. Look at the four dragon babies up there. Let's see what the problem is. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. What's the problem? Hey, I can't laugh. What? You can't laugh? Oh, that must be so frustrating. I love to laugh. Hmm, let me see if I can help. Let me just check your heartbeat. 
Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Ooh, I like that beat. Heartbeat sounds nice and strong. Hmm, what are some ways you can make someone laugh? Maybe some silly dance moves. Uh, okay, Mama Dragon, check this out. Nothing? Tough crowd. Hmm, well, maybe there's something wrong with your throat. I'll take these scarves, we'll go in here, up the dragon's throat, and out. Maybe that will tickle the dragon and the dragon can laugh. Let's try. so much for your help. <laughs> Have fun laughing. Okay, next animal. Come on. Wow, what a beautiful tree. <gasps> Look, cute little birds. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Oh, they said they feel fine, but they need their checkup. Have you ever been to the doctor for a checkup? Yeah. Just to make sure everything is good and nice and healthy. Come here, little bird. Oh, so sweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is check your temperature. Okay, let's see, I think I have a thermometer in here. Yep, here it is. Just gonna put it under your wing. Stay still for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect temperature. That's really good. Okay, let's see what else we can check here. How about your eyes? Look at me. Keep going. Look, there we go. All right. <gasps> nice. Ooh, healthy eyes. You must eat a lot of healthy food. All right, now we're just gonna check your brother over here. What healthy birds we have here. Keep up the good work, eat healthy and stay strong. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is a vet's office. Animals can come here to get some extra care if maybe they're not feeling well or they're sick. Oh, look, this is a cool place to give an animal a bath, make it nice and clean. Oh, these are bird cages. Cool. Oh, don't see any birds in there though. Hmm. <gasps> I do see some animals over here. Oh my goodness. Look at this little kitty cat. It's sleeping. Shh. <laughs> oh, this cat's awake. Hi, cat. Do you wanna come out and say hi? Aw, meow, meow. Oh, how are you feeling? Much better. Oh, I'm so happy. Do you wanna rest a little longer? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put you back, okay. Aw, there you go. Have a nice rest. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, it's a horse. Yay, yay. Hi horse, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Much better, yay. Oh good, <laughs> I'll put you back so you can rest too. Aw, <gasps> another sleeping animal. It's a little puppy. Look at its little nose. So cute. Did you know that dogs can smell really well? Yeah, they have wet noses. Have you ever noticed a dog's nose? If you touch it, it feels a little wet. Because smells stick better to wet noses than dry noses. And a dog could smell a human over 40 feet away, or about 12 meters. That's really, really far away. Isn't that cool? Oh, shit. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, 
Do you know what animal this is? It's a rabbit! <laughs> Look at its long ears. Hello? <laughs> oh, I think this rabbit needs to rest too. There you go. Aww, all these animals are resting. It's really important to rest, especially if you don't feel very well. And look, a little pig. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> look how cute. How are you feeling today, pig? Oh, that's great. The pig said it's feeling a lot better. Oh, good, I'm so glad. Will everyone rest up? And I'm going to go look for some other animals who might need my care. Will you come with me? Let's go. Cool. We're on a farm. Wow, there's lots of farm animals in here. Huh. A chicken and little chicks. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> Three new patients. Let's see. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you? Oh, <laughs> I understand, cow. The cow is saying that it's feeling a little lonely. Aw, well, <laughs> looks like your x-ray is on the wall. Let's take a check. All right, looks like, uh-huh, correct. Yep, that's the one, oh yeah. You look great. Your x-ray is actually perfect. But you said you're lonely. Hmm. You know, they say that cows have best friends. <laughs> yeah, they have a favorite cow that they like to hang out with all the time. So I bet you need a cow friend. Hmm, do you see any cows around here? <gasps> Did you hear that? I think it's coming from inside. Oh yeah. <gasps> Look at this sweet cow. Meow. Do you want a best friend? Meow. I have a great friend for you. Come on. Here you are. Best friend, best friends. Aw. <laughs> Do you feel better? <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad. Did you hear that? It sounded like a cat in trouble. Oh no, there's a cat stuck way up there. I have to save it, come on. Whoa, a fire truck. Ah, yeah, firefighters help cats get out of really high places all the time. Looks like I need to save a cat. Here we go, I'm coming for you, cat. Hi, cat. It's me, Dr. Mika. Let me see if I can get you unstuck. Oh, are you okay? Oh, well, I have you now. Let's go back down the ladder. How are you feeling? Oh, there's a fire. I better become a firefighter and put it out. Whew. Close one. You know what? I think I'll take you to the vet's office and check your heartbeat and make sure you're A-OK. -okay. Come on. Meow. <laughs> OK, little cat. Welcome to my office. Let me just give your heartbeat one more listen, OK? All right. Make sure it's a nice, strong heartbeat. OK, let's listen. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> nice, strong heartbeat. Okay, well, you've had a really long day, so I think maybe you should get some rest. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Come on, let's see if there's any open spots for you to lay down and take it easy. All right, here you go. Get nice and cozy and take a little rest. It's important to get rest, especially when you're not feeling well. <laughs> well, I had so much fun today taking care of those animals. Thank you so much for your help. And isn't it cool that dogs can smell so well and that cows have best friends? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> well, this is the end 
end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Mika the Vet, out. <laughs> Bye. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too we can explore, like circles, or triangles, or squares, or rectangles. <laughs> Will you explore with me? Oh great, let's go. <laughs> Look how cool this floor is. I see a lot of different colors, and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six basketballs. And I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you wanna get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, I missed it. That's okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. Oh, see, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in, and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. The yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, wow, I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm, <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. I found one, a soccer goal. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides. And this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you want to get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hands. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? 
That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? <laughs> this tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop. Yes, goal. And we have this really bouncy ball. And it's blue. All right, in you go. Yeah, whoa, that was a big one. Goal. And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? Red, oh right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry, I have it in me. Here we go. Goal, see, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right, three, two, one, goal. Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay, goal. <laughs> and now is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One, goal! I love soccer. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. Wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. Huh. They're kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a rectangle. Hmm, and usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. <laughs> but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over? Hmm, we could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? <laughs> I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have one ball left to try, the soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> And instead of using a ball, I'll use me. 
Okay, set these up, and I'm gonna find a way to go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I can dance, I can crawl, I can run, or I can be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex! Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? And in bowling, when that happens, it's called a strike. Strike! <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. And now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Come on, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa, there are a lot of shapes here. <gasps> Come look at this one. This is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. Oh, look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see a square. A square has four sides, see? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle. And makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh. It kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, Whoa look at this big slice of cake. <gasps> mm. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. <laughs> wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle. See, there's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> And if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See? One, two, three. Do you see any other shapes? <gasps> yeah, a circle, a red circle. And this ball is here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball. Woo! <laughs> Hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on. Whoa, look at all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> So many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. There are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special. Sean Johnson! <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is gonna show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait! Woohoo! Here we go! Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Sean, 
I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, because yes. first things first, safety first. Yes. So let's stretch our arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy, so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, How a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Because um, it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam and I have a silver on the floor and on the team, and on the all-around. Whoa! <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes, so the gold is number one. It's like the first place, and silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. But with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. Bloop. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. You kind of kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, two, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam, for the plant. Beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going, <laughs> keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I made so it to the stop. end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walk. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there flamingo. we go. Step. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Now in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It probably safer. makes it less slippery too. Yes. So one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're gonna try a scale. Uh-huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. 
you're gonna take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> And scale back up. Good job. <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one. Are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually going to do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay? Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you want to squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're going to go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam, too. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. <gasps> Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Okay. Try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. Woohoo! So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there. Mm -hmm. And you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Sean. Let's do it. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this. Take a deep breath and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym, because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at the beam. Squeeze all your muscles. Feel, feel your behind you. And plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Let's take two more steps. Okay. One. One. Two. two. Okay. Are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay. Let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, flamingos. Good job. Spot, spot, okay. spot. <laughs> Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you, you feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump, keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was really good. That was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! Whoa! I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've shot. mastered the beam. Do you wanna go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great! But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. Oh, thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great. Okay. A round off? 
A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes. yes. That sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. I'll Let's give it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay. Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. Of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah. We had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S H A W N Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
powdered sugar. The first ingredient <gasps> to making icing. That's a ton of sugar! Yeah. Do you want to dump it in the bowl so we can get started? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, do I need to wear anything special? <gasps> oh, you're so right. We're going to have our apron. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. This way, we can keep all of the messes off of our clothes. Mm, so right. Okay. So the first thing is going to be the powdered sugar in this big bowl. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's heavy. Good Whoa. job. Looks like snow. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Look at this. Yeah. Now it's snowing in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's still some more. There's more. Mm hmm. All right. Oof, sorry for the mess, Ashley. Oh, you look great. <laughs> the next ingredient is meringue powder. Whoa, what is that for? That's to make the sugar whip together into icing. Whoa, okay. Maybe this will make such a big mess. Mm. Oh no, that was much better. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we need the water to liquefy it. Oh, okay. The whole thing? The whole thing. Some water. Yeah. This is going to make a lot of icing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't have a poof on me. <laughs> We're going to have you mix that up till it's nice and liquidy. Whoa! We need some big muscles to mix all this icing together. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it. It smells really sweet. Mm-hmm. Round and round, get all the ingredients together. Okay, is that good? I think that's looking pretty good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Want to give that a little ting-ting? Okay, a little... A couple of tings. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two more. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this guy onto our lovely machine and we're gonna get to mixing until it's nice and wet. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. This machine is so cool. And so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna mix everything together to make a really nice, smooth icing. Mm-hmm. Those grandmas before had to do it all by hand. Wow. One, two, three. Whoa! It's so cool! Come look! Woo! <laughs> okay, I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm really ready to make some icing. Just in time, it just got done. Oh, yes! Yeah, so actually, you want to learn how to make a decorating cone? Yeah, that sounds so cool! Right, awesome! I'm so glad to hear that. So we got this bowl. Okay. All right, and there's a spoon already in there. Do you want to Ooh. scoop a couple of heaping spoonfuls Ooh, out? Heaping, heaping. Yeah. That means big. Okay. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Look at that! Some more in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, we made a lot of icing. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. Nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So next, you're going to take one of these bags. Okay. And you're going to fold it so we can hold it without getting our hands fold dirty. Fold it so you can hold it. Yeah. Okay. All right, now what? Perfect. You're gonna hold it just like a cup, and here's your tip. Oh, thank you. This is what helps us push the icing through. Oh. And we're gonna slide it right on in, all okay. the way to the bottom. Like that. Perfect. Now you're gonna take your spoon and just put a couple of spoonfuls in there. <laughs> Not right. too much. Oh no, I'm gonna get messy again. It's okay. It's fun to get messy. Woo! <laughs> all right. Nice catch. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Should I start squeezing it down? Push it down just a little. Push it down just a little. With it still folded? Fold it up. Okay. Fold it yeah. up. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna steal some too, so we're on the same page. Push it down. Yeah. See it? And I'm gonna do just a little. How's oh, that? You did great. 
Yeah. So to make sure it doesn't all come out the top, mm -hmm. we have these lovely little clips. Oh, yeah. so you can fold it down. Fold it up. Fold it up. And around. Oh. Yeah, and then we push down. Push, push, push. Oh, perfect. Okay. Here's your lovely little clip. Thank you. Here's my lovely little clip, and we clip it on. Awesome, we're ready That's... to decorate now. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Look at all of this. I see candy. We could decorate with candy. And oh, there's so many different kinds of cookies. Wow, look at this. A little person. It's so cute. And oh, do you know what color this is? It's one of my favorites. Purple. It's a purple rectangle. And oh, look at this really bright circle. It's orange. <laughs> Ooh, and here's one of my other favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Nice. Kind of looks like a sunshine. And a blue square. Look at that. These colors are so bright and cool. And there's little circles. Look, they could be eyeballs. <laughs> All right, what should I decorate first? Hmm. Ashley, what do you think? Oh, well, if you don't want to use white, I made all these extra colors for you. You did? I did. Wow. I see purple and yellow yeah. and blue. Wow. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to make a little person. <laughs> Maybe I'll use purple because I love it so much. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a purple shirt. And yellow pants. And maybe some white curly hair. And let's see. I'm gonna do a blue face. Eyes and a smile. <laughs> it kinda looks like my grandma. <laughs> Yummy. Woo! And maybe I'll decorate this one with a big yellow. See if you know what this is. It's the letter M for Mika. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. And it really makes it easier to decorate in these bags. Makes it easier to write things.
<laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun! Mika, Mika, so much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Mika! Mika.